What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back. And today we got some new Red Dead Redemption 2 news. And we're going to be breaking that down all here. We also got some new images and just a lot of stuff to discuss. So first, it actually began with PlayStation revealing that a Red Dead Redemption 2 bundle was coming about. See, the thing is with this bundle, it's not really that, I guess interesting the actual playstation 4 pro console isn't actually red or there's no design for it it really just seems like it's red dead and playstation 4 pro console together and that's just about it kind of disappointing but it does state on the actual image that design and specifications are subject to change without notice so hopefully they do update the design but honestly this was a no-brainer once uh, rockstar and playstation announced a partnership i knew eventually that this would happen but i will also mention that there there's the possibility or probability of a limited edition console for RDR2, kind of like the PlayStation 4 Pro version of Spider-Man. Either way, if that does happen, we probably should hear about that very soon, maybe actually from Rockstar this time around. But yeah, a lot of people are interested in a Red Dead themed console, so it kind of seems like a missed opportunity to not do it, so I hope that this does become a reality. Furthermore, I know a lot of us are waiting for the next gameplay video, and Rockstar Intel actually delivered some very interesting news. So, um, right now it should be noted with the reveal that came today on the wildlife that we're about to get into, Rockstar unpinned their tweet, and what their original tweet that was pinned was, was Red Dead Online, the announcement for that. So whenever they do this, this is when a huge announcement is imminent, and now we're all wondering what could that be? Well, Rockstar Intel is reporting that GameStop just announced the Rockstar Weekend sale that is coming up, which they reported on earlier in the day. So the thing is about these Rockstar Weekends, as reported by Rockstar Intel, is that these weekends only happen when a new gameplay or or trailer is revealed so it's looking increasingly likely that sometime this week we are going to be getting that next gameplay video which I will say it's about time that Rockstar has revealed pretty much everything but that and that was teased all the way back in early August but nonetheless as I said before Rockstar announced the wildlife and details and images on that now this is the next section of the features page this seems to be something that Rockstar is updating weekly we obviously first got all the members of Dutch's gang and then recently Recently, we got the open world and locations that we'll be encountering. But today, we got wildlife, and this is the official description on Rockstar's website. The diverse habitats and climates of Red Dead Redemption 2 are home to around 200 species of animals, birds, and fish, all of which behave and respond to their environment in a unique way. Just to show how massive that is, something I want to point out that Rockstar Intel pointed out is, if you add up every animal from Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, Far Cry 5, Red Dead Redemption, and Grand Theft Auto 5, it only comes to about 185 animals. And that's with repeats. Red Dead Redemption 2 has 200 unique species. And to compare just to Red Dead Redemption, that only had 38 species. So you could tell the environment was very important for Rockstar with this game. But on Rockstar's website, it continues Continues deer, bison, and pronghorn traverse the plains in large herds. Scavengers quickly sniff out carrion. Sockeye salmon leap upstream. Wolves attack in packs surrounding their prey. Geese fly in fixed formations. Possums play dead. Rodents scamper into tree hollows. Grizzly bears bluff charge when threatened. And birds of prey soar on thermals. They all form part of a complex ecosystem and must continually fight for their place on the food chain. The wilderness is at once a beautiful and perilous place for both man and beast, and any predator can quickly turn prey. But furthermore, after this description, Rockstar showed some of the images of the animals that are going to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. I believe this, this is just artwork, but I think this may be an index that's actually available in-game. But we have the California Valley Coyote, the Whitetail Buck, the Eastern Turkey Vulture, which is actually sitting on top of a skull, looks very cool. And then we have the Bald Eagle, the American Alligator, the Tennessee Walker, the North American Brown Bear or Grizzly, the Lake Sturgeon, the Banded Gila Monster, which we actually saw in the gameplay video that came in August that was shown in the desert part of Red Dead Redemption 2, and then lastly, 
the Morgan Horse. Now after this we actually get some more details, this time concentrating on the hunting and fishing aspect of RDR2. So this is what it says, hunting and fishing are essential skills for survival in the wilderness, providing food, materials, and a source of income. A huge variety of fish swim the many rivers, lakes, and streams, and selecting the right bait or lure is key to a successful day's haul. Tracking an animal takes focus and patience. Move carefully and watch the wind direction or you will alert your prey. Choice of weapon and shot placement are also very important and will affect the quality of the meat and pelt, which in turn affects the price that traders will pay for them. Make sure to pick the right gauge of rifle for the size of animal that you're hunting or master the use of the bow for a quiet and clean kill. After a successful hunt, you can either skin and butcher the animal on the spot or take it with you whole. Just try not to leave it too long or the scavengers will come along. Skins, parts, meat, and entire carcasses can all be loaded onto your horse to be sold to the butchers in town taken back to camp for the stew pot or crafted into clothing or other items. Nature amply provides and there is no reason to ever go cold or hungry. Now our first image actually shows Arthur Morgan approaching a butcher or somebody who sells and buys meat. Hunting wildlife provides valuable natural resources like meat, hides, and other useful materials. You can sell meat and animal parts to butchers or general stores, donate them to your camp, or use them to cook and craft. For more exotic goods, bring your haul to a trapper. Now this one image actually appears to be from the scene in the early gameplay video, or the early part of the gameplay video. Nothing really big about this image, but you do see that Arthur Morgan obviously killed an alligator and is looking to get some money for him. Next we have is an image taking place in a snowy area. Game can be found across a range of habitats. If your first shot is not immediately fatal, your prey will try to escape. Follow clues like blood to track it down, and you may need to use a mercy kill to end the animal's suffering. Now this image, it, well, it shows the blood that we're gonna see within Red Dead Redemption 2. And obviously it looks like Arthur Morgan tracked the kill, but yeah, seeing the animal suffer is gonna be something that's a little Little, little interesting. Hopefully Peta doesn't get on that. But in the next image it says, Selecting the proper weapon is important to the quality and yield from your kill. Bow and arrow is often the optional weapon of choice for clean kills. Approaching prey quietly, cover your scent or stay downwind to make it harder for animals to detect your presence and use a call to draw its attention before making your fatal strike. And here we actually have an NPC, it's not Arthur Morgan as far as I understand, but it looks like he's quietly about to kill a deer. And if you actually look to his hat, it looks like that is made out of alligator skin, so that's, that's very cool. Now the next image it says, like hunting, fishing also yields meat and useful materials. A range of species can be found in different habitats, each responding to different varieties of bait. And I will say the NPC in question looks a lot like Michael from Grand Theft Auto V. I don't know if that was on purpose or if this is an online character, but very interesting. And also, if you look very closely, it looks like he has a hat made out of rat, so... Yeah, that's, that's something. But now to our last section of details, this concentrates on horses. There are 19 breeds of horse in Red Dead Redemption 2, from Appaloosas and Arabians to Shires to Mustangs, each of which handle differently with its own defined characteristics. Horses can be captured and broken out in the wild, purchased from stables, or acquired by more underhanded means, of course. Your horse is your constant companion, and you will rely on them just as heavily as on any of your fellow gang members, so it is important to take good care of your animals. Animal. By keeping it groomed and well fed, you will start to see improvements in stamina, performance, and handling, and it will become less skittish as the bond grows between you. With 59 different styles of coat and a range of customizable tack, including saddles, horns, stirrups, spurs, you can create a horse that is truly your own and develop a personal and unique relationship as you explore the world together. As I've been revealing with some of the new gameplay previews, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be a game that makes horses very important. They're not like GTA cars where if they die they can come back, or even how it worked in Red Dead Redemption. But in Red Dead Redemption 2, there are permadeaths with horses, and the reason why they do that is because they want us to have a connection with our horse. So if your horse gets hurt, or if it's not feeling well, you're going to have to take care of it. Now importantly, the one way that you can actually improve the bond the most is by petting your horse, so treat your horse very good. But we do get some new images. First we have the wild Hungarian half-breeds can be found in the heartlands, among other habitats. Capturing and taming wild horses can be a free method to acquire new mounts. And as it has been revealed, you can have your own stable horses, so maybe this is something that people do in their free time to make some more money or improve their inventory. Now the next image has Arthur Morgan with his horse, it looks like he's just leaving stables. Buy, sell, and store horses from stables 
vehicles or purchase provisions to keep your horse fed, tonics that give your horse temporary health and stamina boosts, and equipment like stirrups and saddles which can improve your horse's performance or simply add style to your horse's mane, tail, or otherwise. And here in the next image we actually have Arthur Morgan. It looks like he's making his way through a bayou, I think? And it says your bond with your horse represents trust and understanding. As your bond with your horse grows over time and through activities like feeding and grooming, your horse's attributes like its health and speed will improve. You will also unlock bonding perks and rewards. So that's very interesting. And now the final image, which actually I really find very cool, which actually I believe it's taking place in the Grizzlies. It says store weapons, outfits, masks, and hats in your horse's saddle. You can also stow fresh kills. Birds and small game can be attached to the saddle, or you can store larger game across your horse's rear. So yeah, a very nice image that Rockstar actually presented. You can actually see how deep the snow is. That's what I really do appreciate. The attention to detail with this game. There's just so much to love about this. But yeah, this is how we are starting our week off with some huge Red Dead Redemption 2 news and some images. And I will say, among the 200 species in the game, I kind of hope that there's some wacky things in there, like maybe seeing a Bigfoot, or maybe even seeing like a Loch Ness monster or some type of monster in the sea for us to come upon. Those like, they're like fantasy, but I like to see funny things like that. Like in Red Dead Redemption, the Undead Nightmare DLC, we had our interaction with Bigfoot. And apparently that was actually supposed to happen in the base game, but it got moved to Undead Nightmare. So I found that very interesting. Rockstar's always played around with Bigfoot, so I kind of hope we see him a, at least teased or at least a little side mission. That'd be pretty cool. But that's just me. I know some people may differ with that opinion. But what do you guys think? There was a lot revealed, a lot of new images. What do you make from them? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Obviously, we're still waiting on that gameplay video, but all indication is that it's coming very, very soon. And we only have, what, about a month before launch, so it has to come very, very soon. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. Make sure you are subscribed for all the latest up-to-date Red Dead Redemption 2 news, as I'm one of your best sources on this upcoming game. And remember, Outlaws for Life.